Alrighty, how's it going, Famales and Gent Lemons? Uh, so we're going to be doing just a small update video compared to the probably six or seven that I've shot previously. Uh, going to be the same content, uh, but I'm going to be doing, uh, I guess, the season pass owners for gears. Got what? What is that? Onyx Gold Gear Pack, limited time special, of course. Well, now I know where all my points are going, but uh, season pass holders, I guess, were given, or distributed, I should say, 20 Series 2 crates to open. So we're going to be doing that in the background. However, I have just a few things to talk about while we do so. So getting on to our first topic, let me go ahead and crack one of these bad boys in. So usually I just open them all at once because I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like it really matters. But we're gonna open them individually. Sugar boom shot. Okay. Optical snub. And sugar marks it. Okay. So I'm so I'm so this is probably gonna be mostly skins. Not bad. Um, I'm just gonna sit straight right here. Oh, so it auto opens them. Nice. Well. I guess I'll uh, crack this one open too. We've got the loaded lancer, which I'm actually I'm looking to get uh, a couple of those skins because they look like uh, caution tape. Uh, another sugar mark. So, so I'm gonna have some duplicates for sure. Black eight ball masher. Okay, so let's move on to our first subject slash topic daily. Um, coming up, I've got a few games that I'm doing let's plays of. Uh, I know I've mentioned I mentioned in the first video I recorded and have since taken down due to a few things, but I took it down. Uh, I mentioned that I had a few games coming out for Let's Plays. Um, also, I, I did manage to pre-order a Nintendo Switch, so that's uh, that's gonna be weird for me. I've never owned a Nintendo console, so you guys are gonna have to uh, guide me through that a little bit, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that, possibly with uh, one, to, possibly with one of uh, one of my partners. You can see, I suppose, um, Alex. We might be we might be cracking open our switches together. Who knows? Um, but I'm definitely going to be doing a review on the system as a whole. I've never done that. Uh, and I'll be doing reviews of the games that I end up picking up for it, and probably some Let's Plays. But, uh, <clears throat> the first game that we have to do a Let's Play of is Gravity Rush 2. Now, I just recently picked up the first Gravity Rush, had never seen, uh, had never really, you know, seen anything that impressed me about the first one, but that's because I was looking up Geometry Wars. <laughs> So that, that, that was a mistake on my part. Once I saw the commercial for the second one, um, I, uh, I was definitely inclined to pick the first one up. The gameplay looked solid. It was definitely something different, kind of kind of off of these uh, every, you know, every month shooters coming out. Uh, so it definitely had a lot to bring to the table, and I was morbidly impressed with it. I think that would be the proper term. Hopefully that's not a negative thing. I meant it to be a positive thing. But that will be releasing this coming Friday, uh, January 20th, so we've got a five day wait for that. I'm not going to rush through it. Um, I'm not going to try to rush through it in order to hop onto Resident Evil right off the bat. I'm going to, you know, enjoy Gravity Rush 2, and then once Resident Evil comes out, I'll start juggling the two, so I'll probably upload, you know. If I'm doing a video a day for Gravity Rush, I'll do a video a day for Resident Evil at, you know, at the same pace. So they'll both have videos coming out per day. Um, if that's the schedule I decide to go with, it just depends. <clears throat> I may record a few, you know, a few chunks at a time and then release them. That'll probably be the easiest way to go. Um, so let's go ahead and crack open another pack just to even this out because I only have a few games to talk about. I'll do two at a time. 
pick up for Oscar Tattoo Retro Lancer. That looks kind of neat. Uh, I wish it was more lava. Loader drop shot. That was one of the ones that I wanted. Sugar snub. Okay. So, so the sugars just look like they're broken. Glass. Broken glass. Oh, that's a... Static boom shot. <clears throat> Hold on. No. What? I'm making a video. Thank you. Wow. That was annoying. So, on to the next one. The Smile Ember. Oh, I see. And an optical boom shot. Okay, I think that was... Was that the second one? Yeah, that was the second one that I opened. So now, moving on, we've got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, officially titled Biohazard, not just European titled Biohazard 7. Uh, that will be releasing in nine days on the 24th. I'm picking up the collector's edition of that uh, because all of the pieces that came with it really kind of struck my fancy. I played a little bit of the demo. It scared the... Uh, scared the the wontons out of me but uh the pieces that uh come in the collector's edition which let me see if i can get a good look here i might even try to insert it into the clip i don't know if i'll be able to do that myself or not um it comes with a special box that's just like a window with a spooky shadow however there is a replica statue of the mansion that opens up into a music box, a steelbook, which for those of you who know me, I have so many steelbooks. I love them. Um, it comes with a VHS tape container for said steelbook, I would assume. A dummy finger USB, which I, that was in the demo. Um, I never, I didn't get far enough to actually figure out what that was for. Um, there is also a note scrawled that was also from the, uh, the demo saying I will dash you into the stones or I will dash you to the stones I can't actually pull up the big picture right now so I can't see uh, exactly what it said I'm just going off memory and then I think there's some lithographs to that but I've never played a Resident Evil game and been able to take it seriously other than 4 and 5 um, of course that doesn't mean that I've played all of them I played six, was not impressed. Uh, I played three a little, a little bit, that was okay. Um, and then I recently started Resident Evil 1, the remaster on the uh, on the Xbox One, and I, I, was, I was pretty into that, but I could not figure out where to go. So I got kind of lost on that, but it was pretty good. Um, so we're gonna try to do a playthrough of that um, again, that's a game I'm definitely not going to rush because uh, horror games are really, you know, those are those are pretty special to me when they're actually good. Like The Evil Within, that's that's a good one. I'm going to actually go back and do a Let's Play of that here pretty soon when I have some uh, downtime from new games. Um, so that that pretty much wraps that up. Now we're going to go on to another another two packs for another game of release. This one open. Another Smile Ember. Let me guess. Duplicate? Sugar Boom Shot. Alright. Let me guess. No. Overdrive Hammer Burst. That looks cool. Is that sponsored by, uh... Is that sponsored by Insomniac? The guys behind Sunset Overdrive? That looked like a uh, Sunset Overdrive skin. Sugar Boom Shot, once again. We've got Blood Omen Retro Lancer. That's alright. I like that. Dell Necklace Nasher. Uh, I'll have to look and see what his necklace looks like because I honestly can't tell what they're talking about here. All right, <clears throat> next we're moving on to Nyo. 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 Um, pretty sure. Yeah, it, I played the beta for this. Um, it is very Dark Souls esque. It's gonna be very difficult. Uh, that's gonna be a series that's gonna definitely take a while for me to actually beat I'll probably probably rage quit once or twice or you know once I finish a you know a little package of 
videos, I'll probably take a little break from it every once in a while, so that'll probably be uh, once in a blue moon, you'll get, you know, a few videos out of that. I will eventually finish it, like I do most of the Souls games. I'm still working on three, however. Haven't, haven't even grazed the surface of that from what I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, not not too much to talk about that. It's it's got some innovative things, some uh, some kind of asynchronous PvP multiplayer sort of dealings. Um, so so that's cool. Moving on. We have another pack. I broke my rule. Oh well. So those those are nice. Let's pack. <clears throat> we have Sugar M Bar, that was kinda neat. Loader Long Shot, another one of those ones that I wanted, and Down Necklace Lancer. I still I don't know if it's that thing in the center, I still can't see what we're what we're talking about here. And I just realized if I'm doing four games, I need to do five apiece. I've only done two apiece, so that's eight. This is that's the third game, so two apiece. So I need to do three times three. I need to do nine more real quick. So crack this open. I'm just I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Uh, sugar torque is kind of cool. <clears throat> Dragon Eye Snub, that was a cool one that I was looking at. Smiling, I'm not gonna be able to swap myself. Sure. Okay, this fits the weapon so well. Hey, it's Luke. Uh, Ivory Eight Ball, that looks cool. I think that was that was three. Going on four. Ooh, hypno overkill. Very nice. And five. Sugar boom shot. Smile marks a uh, Oscar tattoo torque. Again, that that design looks cool. I just wish it was maybe lava. Tattoo Ember, that looks sweet. Smile over here. Ah, I, I don't know what, uh... Oh, okay. Four packs remaining. Cool. Let's crack these open, and then move on to our last one. Dell Necklace, Long Shot, Smile Torpo. That looks awful. Oscar Tattoo Nasher. Okay, so. Last game release that is gonna be on my... On my radar for a little bit, at least until March. And Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn. Picking up the collector's edition of that just because that game looks amazing. And I'm about to sneeze. Hold your horses. Nope, <laughs> held it off. Uh, that comes with a statue, which I'm all about statues. But uh, this game looks ridiculous. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to say too much about it. If you have the initiative to look it up that's you know that's your prerogative but uh, if you want to keep it a surprise and just want to watch it on the channel then I'm not gonna say too much about that one because I'm really excited I honestly haven't watched too much about it other than a little snippets of gameplay that got me into it because I didn't want to spoil it so uh, Horizon Zero Dawn I can tell you it looks like Turok mixed with Tomb Raider mixed with uh, kind of Shadow of the Colossus games where you could climb the enemies and whatnot. So that's gonna be cool. And then I'll be doing an unboxing of that collector's edition. So, moving on to the last four pack of rooms. We've got some cool.
cool stuff here. I can just guarantee my mom is gonna straight crash or any back in the room. suck. I can feel it. It's been too much time. Chillin' Nasher. That that one looks cool, the chillin' skin. Now we've got two more. Hold on! Yes I do! Optical Boltok. I wish I got more Boltok skins. That'd be nice. I'd take a smile Boltok. Sugar Enforcer, Oscar Tattoo, Lancer. And our last pack of the day. Oh, V-Day Medic. I wanted that one. I, I do want the Medic skins because... I don't know if you guys know this, I prefer to play a support character in pretty much any game that I can. Rears of War is, you know, an exception because there's not really any team-based anything. It's just shoot the other players uh, and work. You know, I mean, there's some cooperation, but uh, yeah. So V-Day Medic, that'll be cool. I might use that one. Uh, and then Overdrive Drop Shot. I like that. I was hoping to get an Overdrive Nasher, but that is okay. So, uh, okay, so we're just cresting 17 minutes. Uh, that, that's nice. Just sticking to my 20 minute time frame for the updates. That's alright. Um, but yeah, other than that, we will, like I said, we're gonna have the Nintendo Switch coming out here in March. So, got a little bit of a wait, but uh, I'm picking up Zelda. Never played a Zelda game. Picking up some little accessories with that. Um, later down the road, we have a lot of games that are not, <laughs> do not have release dates, unfortunately. However, Hot Diggity Dog, there are a lot. I'm seeing God of War, Spider-Man, the exclusive, uh, Days Gone, Detroit Become Human, from the people that did uh, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, I believe, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy. I'm gonna sit these cards down because those are gonna get uh, th those those are about to get fiddled with, and that's gonna be annoying. Um, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Prey, that's not an exclusive. That, that's like the first non-exclusive game I'm going to be doing a playthrough of if I'm, unless I'm just overwhelmed with downtime. Um, Super Mario Odyssey for the Switch. Splatoon, number two. I've never played the first one. It looked awesome, so I'm really looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Preferably, that'll be a playthrough start. Maybe I'll start a little something just to hold you guys over until I start Gravity Rush. That's, that's the one. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, famales. Have a good one, Gent Lemons. It's been awesome. <laughs>